at six, community activists may have crossed a line trying to stop David Beckham from building a soccer stadium in Overtown. Earlier this week, they even posted fake eviction notices in that neighborhood. It certainly got everyone's attention, including the county's public housing director. CBS 4's David Seta is live in Overtown tonight, where a community meeting is just about to start. David? That's correct, Elliot. And this is the fake notice, the eviction notice that was posted. But if you look closely, it talks about the meeting that's getting underway right now. Now, right here, this is Culver Place. On the other side of these buildings is where the stadium is proposed. Organizers are telling us that there's a plan to wipe all of this out to accommodate soccer. The county, though, is arguing that that is just not so. I was outraged. I was disappointed uh, that um, somebody, some group would misinform uh, our residents. Miami-Dade's housing director, Michael Lewis, speaking about the fake eviction notices that landed on the doors of Comer Place in Overtown this week. Do the folks at Comer Place have anything to worry about? No, they don't have anything to worry about. The notices came from a group headed by Bishop James Adams. It wasn't a real eviction notice, but it was designed to get the attention of people. Adams has discovered two-year-old plans submitted to the federal government to renovate Comer. He believes today it's the stadium. Tomorrow it could be 250 residents evicted. We just can't uh, continue to lay down and allow things to happen. Someone has to speak. Uh, I believe it's my call and my job to speak for those that don't have a voice. Lou says the renovation plans are just that, a plan required by the federal government should money become suddenly available. There are no plans to evict. We would certainly like to get all the money in the world so we can rehabilitate and make our units A1, but we don't have that yet. We would like to. Even if they do get funded one day, Lou says that he would do his best to keep every resident in their home. I would challenge anyone to go to Coma Place and not say, well, you know what, I think some improvement would be good. We want to have the best possible housing for people in our public housing. One of the locals here is explaining to me about what a great spot they're in here. As you look out to the east, downtown Miami, the American Airlines Arena is less than a mile away from here. And then to their west, the Marlins Ballpark, a mile that way. And then they're going to have MLS on their doorstep. Talk about a sports mecca for folks that could walk around. And it's obviously prime uh, real estate as the, they're, from their perspective, a local here. Now, for the county, they have sent two people from public housing to attend tonight's meeting. They're hoping that they can... Uh, eliminate all of the false information and basically hopefully work through this. We'll have much more coming up at 11 o'clock tonight on CBS 4, including all the details from inside that meeting. For now, though, we're live in Overtown. David Sutter, CBS 4 News.